shadow, uh, shadow, a shadow, a photo shoot today with a photographer, which is something I don't normally do. I normally coach other people and maybe the photographer. So anyway, I'm doing a shoot with someone I haven't done a shoot before. His name is Josh. We're gonna do something special, so I'm gonna show you the process. First is I'm gonna get ready. Little backtrack though, in order to do a shoot in canola, obviously you need an appropriate colored dress. I wanted something with a bit of flow to it so we could have some fun flinging it around. So I found this particular dress on ASOS, which we were gonna work with on the day. Uh, we're on the road. Um, this is Josh, who's gonna be doing the pictures. So Josh is a local photographer and we're going out to a special location to shoot. Uh, for this particular shoot, I chose a dress to go with the colour of what we'd be shoot shooting because I like colour on colour. This is the outfit. There's a lot of yellow. You'll see better when I get out of the car. It's got like a big long cape, which we're hoping will work in the breeze. There's not much breeze, but there is nice light and that is important. We found a spot that Josh had scoped out in the weeks prior. We needed somewhere that was the right yellow, had the right height, because we had to hide my shoes, obviously, because shoes aren't going to be a feature if we're sitting in the sea of yellow. Ready to start shooting and I'm just making videos. <laughs> Sometimes they're the best photos. <laughs> <laughs> Me filming you. <laughs> to get the flow thing that I wanted, I kept flinging the cape in the air moving it all around and then seeing how that played with the light which is pretty cool working with a photographer when I was looking at the camera imagining what they were seeing and then making judgments based on that and getting their feedback. Josh is just showing me some shots so we can see where we're at and what I'm working with here. You guys can't see that but you know you'll get the idea. <laughs> We took a few billion shots as photographers always do and yeah. then we got rewarded with this spectacular sunset. Sweet. Creepily following you with the camera. Best light. We used absolutely everything we could. Josh is packing up his stuff. He's pretty happy with what we got. Our only sadness was that the really pretty clouds are not lower down. What photo do you think worked the best? One of the sun in it. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you most looking forward to editing? One of the sun in it. <laughs> that was interesting for me because I don't normally work with a photographer and so to work with another photographer is very cool because I could see the way like the light was falling on his shutter. So then when I was doing stuff with the cape, I kind of had an idea of what it would look like for him. So we didn't have to talk about it. I could just adjust what I was doing to suit. And then if I could check if it was borderline as to whether or not it would have worked. So it was nice. It was really nice. And I noticed as well that my posing was probably a little more relaxed because I wasn't thinking about what the camera needed to adjust because someone else was doing that, which is very different for my normal shoots, which is where I would probably be coaching the person that is using the camera so that was really interesting and what's also going to be interesting for me is that I normally have control of the editing process but Josh here is going to be doing all the editing <laughs> so it's going to be like a surprise to me to see what choices he makes with stuff and I don't know what his camera takes I don't know what the lens like he gave me a couple of little snippet previews so this is the least control that I normally have in a shoot so I uh, will see what the end product looks like. We drove home and then later on that night Josh sent me through a copy of a few of the pictures that he selected. I really liked them. Um, loved the yellow, loved the way that the dress matched the canola fields, uh, which was cool because we didn't have to do any adjustment for either the dress or the canola to make a match. My favourite ones were when we did the cape high and the air ones, particularly this one. This is my absolute favourite of all these shots. Thanks Josh!